Plagiarism versus proper citing. Modern Western thought, ideas or the ways ideas are expressed have owners. Since ideas have owners, using them without permission is considered stealing or plagiarism. What is plagiarism? It's taking another person's ideas or expression of ideas and presenting it as one's own. It's intentional or unintentional failure to cite the source of an idea. Let me emphasize that the unintentional failure to cite the source of an idea is also plagiarism. All of the following are considered plagiarism. Number one, turning in someone else's work as your own, copying words or ideas from someone else without giving credit, failing to put a quotation in quotation marks, giving incorrect information about the source of a quotation. Number five, changing words but copying the sentence structure of a source without giving credit. And number six, copying so many words or ideas from a source that it makes up the majority of your work whether you give it credit or not. So the solution is proper citing. Proper citing is showing in your writing that you acknowledge the source of an idea following commonly accepted rules. The American Psychological Association format, known as APA, is a common method of citing in the behavioral and social sciences, including education. It uses in-text citation and reference section. All sources cited in text should be found in the reference section and vice versa. It's a better alternative to mentioning the name of a book and its author. Citing using APA. According to Julian Pena in his book, Writing with Style and Grace, using formal style makes the reader take the writer seriously. In APA, that could be Pena, open parenthesis, 2015, close parenthesis, says using formal style makes the reader take the writer seriously. Or using formal style makes the reader take the writer seriously. Open parenthesis, Pena, comma, 2015, close parenthesis. If the in-text citation is Pena, open parenthesis, 2015, close parenthesis, says using formal style makes the reader take the writer seriously, then the bibliographic entry would be Pena, JQ, 2015, Writing with Style and Grace, a handbook for novice writers, PNU Press. So the basic bibliographic entry is author's surname, comma, author's initials, open parenthesis, year, close parenthesis, period, title in italics, colon, subtitle in italics, period, publisher, period. When the book is not the first edition, the bibliographic entry would be Pena, comma, JQ, parenthesis 2015 period, writing with style and grace, italicized, colon, a handbook for novice writers, italicized, open parenthesis, third ed, period, close parenthesis, period, PNU Press, period. In-text citation with direct quote, Pena, parenthesis 2015, says, open quote, using formal style makes the reader take the writer seriously, close quotation, open parenthesis, P dot page number, close parenthesis, period, or Pena says, comma, open quote, using formal style makes the reader take the writer seriously, close quote. Open parenthesis 2015, comma, P dot page number, close parenthesis, period. Or, he says, comma, open quote, using formal style makes the reader take the writer seriously, close quotation. Open parenthesis, Pena, comma, 2015, comma, P dot page number, close parenthesis, period. In-text citation with two authors. Pena and Anodin, parenthesis 2015, say that using formal style makes the reader take the writer seriously. Or, using formal style makes the reader take the writer seriously. 
open parenthesis, penya, ampersand, ano din, comma, 2015, close parenthesis, period. The bibliographic entry would be penya, comma, jq, ampersand, ano din, ag, parenthesis, 2015, period, writing with style and grace, colon, a handbook for novice writers, period, PNU Press, period. In-text citation with long quote, about 40 words or more. According to Peña, 2009, although there are many existing scales for measuring ethnolinguistic vitality, none of them are specifically tailored for the Philippines. For example, Land readers' indicators of ethnolinguistic vitality is specifically tailored for measuring ethnolinguistic vitality in Papua New Guinea. Period. Open parenthesis. P. Dot. Page number. Close parenthesis. Notice that this paragraph is not indented. Notice that the first paragraph is not indented, but the second paragraph is indented. Citing a print journal. In text is the same as in citing a book. The bibliographic entry is surname, comma, initials, parenthesis, year, period. Title of article, not italicized, period. Title of periodical, italicized, comma, volume number, with the issue number in parenthesis, comma, Pages. So here's an example. Peña, comma, AS, 2019 in parenthesis, period. Negrito Foragers, colon, a unique history, not italicized, period. Journal of Philippine Social Sciences, italicized, comma, 16, that's the volume number. 1, that's the issue number inside the parenthesis, comma. Then you have the pages, period. Citing an electronic journal. The in-text is the same as in citing a book. Bibliographic entry would be surname, initial, year, title of article, title of periodical, volume number, issue number in parenthesis, pages, and the DOI. That is the internet location. So notice in the example, in addition to the other information, there is a BOI colon 125.342.234. Citing an article in an edited book, you have surname, initials, year, title of article, and the word in. Then you have the editor's initials and the editor's surname. If there are two of them, you would have ampersand and another editor. You would have ads. The title of book, PP, and then you have the pages, and then you have the publisher. Here's your sample for that. Anodin.ag 2018, parenthesis, period, language vitality and shift in Tausub, colon, new factors considered. Dot in ARS, Peña, ampersand, ST for Guston, comma, understanding ethnolinguistic vitality, in parenthesis, PP 66 to 90. Period, University of the Philippines Press. For more information, check the online writing lab at Purdue University. That's the OWL at purdue.edu. Type APA format in the search. Thank you very much.